we're going to be doing a roots review. This will be an opportunity for you to practice and assess your Greek and Latin root knowledge. First off, you'll need a piece of paper. Now, you can use the paper that I have provided. I have a worksheet that is in this website. Or you can make four columns on your paper, title it My Root Word Study Chart, and the four columns should be root, meaning, picture, and words. I tend to make the picture and meaning part a little larger, just so that I can make sure that I can draw a picture in there. We're going to start with just a few root words and explain each one of them and how I want you to do this chart. The first word is adi. It means here. And a picture that you could draw for that would be an ear. Here we have a guy yelling in somebody's ear. Whatever helps you to remember that adi means here. Bene means good. When I think of good things, I might think of ice cream or food like chocolate and, and pizza. Or maybe an angel. Seed means yield. That's a pretty simple one. You can just draw a yield sign. But whatever it is that helps you to remember is what you draw in the picture. It needs to go along with the meaning. Now, after we have done the root, the meaning, the picture, and we're going to add words. We have our meaning and our picture, but we want to add words that use each of them. In this case, audi means here, audible and auditory are also words that match with the root audi. Bene means good, benefit, and benefactor are English words that use the, the root bene. Seed, one word here that I have is reseed. So now we're going to continue adding to your list. You have your roots, your meaning, and then you add your own pictures and words. Here's some examples for you. You can put them on your chart if you want to pause the movie here. But for the picture, you just add your own pictures. What it is that helps you remember. For fix, maybe there's a hammer or tape. Whatever it is that helps you to remember each of these words. Now, I have chosen some random words here on the right that go with each of these roots. Fix, we have fixture, geo, which means earth, geography. We'll go on and add to your list by going to a website that contains Greek and Latin root words. The simple thing about this is, is that all you have to do is look and see the roots are here in alphabetical order. There is the meaning and there is the English word. What I have done for you is I've added the other column in here where you draw a picture. I believe this is important because it helps you to remember in new ways. So, this is the website here. And I can put this, I will put this on the web page so that you can find it and not have to worry about writing this down. But all of these go for a little bit and then it also goes into prefixes and suffixes. But since our emphasis right now is on roots, this is a pretty good start. If you do your chart on all of these, you'll know an awful lot of words that you never imagined. They give you just some examples here, but you can also look up more. Especially if you go into Google and Google um, Greek and Latin root words. You'll find other websites that have the same. Once again, the root, the meaning, the picture, and you add your words. And go ahead and go to the website that contains these for you. Whatever you do, 
you must remember that when you add your own pictures, it's for you to remember the meaning of each root. I think the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. That is a huge part of it. Now, for those people who are English language learners, I have prepared a, an extension for you. You will do the same as everyone else, but I am adding another column at the end. Here is the list of the roots and the meaning, and of course you add your picture. You put in English words. Now I've only put in one, but you can definitely put in more than one. But we're going to add one more column. Words in my language with the same root. Now if you, if you speak a language like Spanish or Italian, they, vote, they are definitely Latin-based languages. They have a lot of the same roots that you find in English words. They may be said in a different way. So we're going to use Spanish as an example at this time. So, I don't have all the words here, but I've come up with some to help you see the similarities. We have audible in English. It doesn't mean the same as auditorio, but you can see that the root is the same, which means to hear. Benefit and beneficio have the same root. Recede, ceder, is a verb in Spanish, means to yield. Seed means to yield. Geography, geo, earth, geography, geografía. The idea here is to make sure that you understand that these roots are the same even though they are in different languages, which is the important part that I'm trying to help you see. If you understand the roots, it will help you understand not only English, but your own language. And that's not just Spanish. This is just an example. So happy practicing. Have fun.